welcome back to my channel and i am back with another winter painting that i'll add to my winter series and this time i am going to paint using these water brush pens a water brush is a kind of paint brush that comes with its own refillable water barrel and also has a cap app. these are also commonly called aqua brush refillable brush or portable paint brush anyways i'll be discussing all the details of these brush pens a little later and let me tell you here that you cannot use acrylic paint with these water brushes you can only use water soluble paints like poster colors water colors and gouache mainly because acrylic paints being synthetic in nature damage the bristles of these water pens and from the little glimpses that you had in the intro of this video you must have already figured out that i am going to paint snowfall and and a winter landscape today and i'll be using colors like poster green poster blue black and white here and i'll be using 5 by 7 inches 300 gsm watercolor paper so let's start these brushes you know have a cap covering the bristles and have a reservoir of water which makes them perfect to use while painting on the go since they are generally the size of a pen they can be carried around in your pencil pouch and we don't need a bowl of water to paint using these now that's a huge advantage for any artist right these water brushes come in various sizes and the water brush set that i have comes with three sizes a small round a medium round and a big round Different tips are also useful for different illustrations. Since a water brush has a reservoir of water attached, you only need to gently press the barrel of the water brush to drop water onto the paper. And the amount of pressure if you apply determines whether you create a small drop of water or a flood of water. And this completely eliminates having a water bowl on the side like when using a paint brush. To clean off these water brushes, simply press the barrel to release water and then wipe the bristles clean with a paper towel or a cloth you can easily squeeze droplets of water using the water brush and then blend colors on the paper itself so anyways stay with me to see how i paint this winter snowfall painting so i hope you find this tutorial helpful you can also paint along with me all you have to do is to slow down the speed of this video so come on let's enjoy the process have already noticed by now that my style of using these poster colors are much like that of using watercolors right i mean many people uh, go from dark colors to light colors in case of opaque colors like gouache and poster paints and acrylic colors but you can see me using the lightest colors first and then subsequently develop layers after layers using darker and darker shades you have to realize that poster is not waterproof so painting over painted layers can lift underlying layers if you allow them to so your first layer should be heavily diluted with water so it will largely act as a stain on your paper but it will allow you to see your painting as a whole 
The second layer will be more substantial if you work reasonably quickly and don't overbrush the paint, it shouldn't lift the base layer. Make sure you use a good heavier grade of watercolor paper or illustration board, not ordinary drawing paper, so that it can hold a lot of water at a time and doesn't buckle up. And also you should wait for the first layer to completely dry up before applying the second layer. Moreover, it is not as opaque as the acrylic, so it is extremely hard to paint in layers with poster colors and it generally ruins the painting, especially if you try to put uh, lighter colors over the darker one. I did not learn this in a single go. I had to do a couple of trial and error to come to this conclusion, guys. So as I always say, keep experimenting with whatever medium that you are working with. And you are surely going to gain a plethora of knowledge in that particular medium as you keep practicing more and more.
this was all for today guys i hope you liked today's tutorial and if you really did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't we often forget to hit the bell notification while we subscribe plus please don't do that because you won't be able to get all the notifications from my channel whenever i upload any video and yes friends you could also follow me on instagram and facebook Please keep supporting me friends and please help me grow and if you have any suggestion for me then please feel free to comment down below So this was all for today guys meet you again in my next video with a brand new episode and a brand new painting till we meet again keep painting and keep enjoying your art journey bye bye